Friday afternoon and we are at Epcot! Yay! So we are meeting Michael because it is the Flower and Garden Festival, which now of course means Flower and Garden and Wine because they added all the food booths. So we're coming here for dinner because it's Friday night. Why not? So let's go to Epcot and eat some yummy foods. We're in! It's Flower and Garden. You're so festive. Well, this is pretty. Little palette of different colors for your garden. Very pretty. And now they got they got Goofy playing soccer. You can get your picture there with uh, Goofy. And Donald over here with all the soccer stuff. We've got Fantasia here. The ostriches are over there. Sorcerer Mickey. I'm gonna get the eggplant. It's from the land ride that I love so much. Gotta try that. Okay, so this is the eggplant scallop. And it features eggplant that they grow right over there at the land, way over there. It's pretty neat. Also, Michael's here. He's been trying to avoid, but I caught him. Mwah. Mwah. It's like a little mini version of the land. They've got the fish, and then the water from that helps fertilize the plants. And the plants, I think, help give the fish oxygen. So I'm pretty sure how that works. Yeah, sure. That's what the land ride told me at least. It's a whole system. See? Read that real fast. And you'll have the description. Aww, they added ladybugs. These are getting even crazier now. And they've got a elf Duffy. Next up, the taco. They've got pineapples. They're adorable. Little pineapples. So this is the uh, pork taco from Mexico. Looks super good, it's got pineapple on there. And then Michael's very exciting looking quesadilla. And if he opened it for you, it's filled with mushrooms, so. No, just no. Yeah, see, mushrooms. I just realized that the stamp from the place that had the um, eggplants is the little aquaponics thing. And also the Property Brothers and they're hot. Okay, got the boba tea. And the best news, what's the best news, Michael? Yay! They actually have the straws this year, so we don't have to sit there and try to like pick out the boba with a regular straw. So they actually like realized and ordered straws. And uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy. <laughs> oh look, good timing. This boba tea has popping bobas in it. It's like the, sometimes you see it at the frozen yogurt places, they'll have the um, boba, and Michael's getting surprised by it because he's never had it before. <laughs> it's a new experience for him. Pumba, not in front of the kids. Come on. Focus. Anyway, what do you guys think? Should I start uh, a bonsai tree? Uh, I don't know if I have patience for that. I also do not have a green thumb, so I'd probably kill it. I would find a way to kill it. There's all sorts of bamboo. The bamboo might be nice. Wait, I can grow my own coffee? Well, now that changes things. The sun is in a terrible spot right now. There's Kermit and Miss Piggy. They're part of the new topiary for this year. That's better. Ta-da! It got really dark right here all of a sudden. We're going to the smokehouse. And it's always really cute in here. We've got it set up nice, the lights. And yeah, this is a very popular place, clearly, because it's barbecue. <laughs> and what I'm excited for is there's the Piggylicious Cupcake. It's a cupcake with bacon. Yep, that's gonna happen. So here it is. Here is a cupcake filled with bacon with a maple frosting and then pretzels on top. Are you guys, you guys ready for this? I'm not sure I am, but I am intrigued. So we will find out. <laughs> Michael got the uh, turkey ribs, which I have never seen a turkey rib before, and he also got the bacon cupcake. So we're gonna experience this for the first time together and let you know how it is. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, so here's the inside. It's full of bacon. What do you think? It's 
good. All right, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find out. Okay, so my thoughts on the cupcake. It was interesting. It does taste kind of like pancakes with bacon mixed in, but the icing was way too strong for me. Way too strong maple. <laughs> Michael does not agree. Michael loved it. Michael loved it. So, I don't know, you can try it. It's a small, like a, like a medium cupcake. It's not like a massive one. I still didn't finish all of mine because the icing was too strong for me, but Michael finished his except for the uh, pretzels. He didn't want the pretzels. Let's see. And there's mine. I, I left all the icing behind because <laughs> it was just too much. But uh, it was delicious. As you can hear, the concert is happening behind us. We skipped there. Oh, bonsai trees! More bonsai trees. Big bonsai trees. Big bonsai nice. trees. Yeah. They're big this time. 65 years old. Wow. Really? This bonsai tree is older than my parents. That's... Wow. Crazy. This one is also 30 years old. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So I got the Fushi from Japan. And Michael is Instagramming his pineapple something drink. What is it called? Pineapple Paradise. Pineapple Paradise. He lost his umbrella. I don't... It went the oh. <laughs> There's his umbrella. A sad, sad umbrella there in the bush. Some duck will have it. Some very happy duck. So this is the uh, duck confit, right? What is it? It's on potatoes? Potatoes. Palm de fruit. From France. I tell you, this is smell of vision right now. You guys would want this. I'm not even hungry anymore, and I want it. It smells delicious. So we'll let Michael tell us how it is after he eats it. But yeah, it smells really, really good. Beautiful. So Michael just finished the duck. And he's gonna tell us what he thought. What did you think? <laughs> yes, Michael says you should get it, right? Definitely get that one. All right, we should go get the duck. So here in England, we've got the croc and hook. And up above, it's Peter Pan. Yay. And then in this really pretty garden, we've got Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. All right, here's my Dole Whip with uh, coconut rum in it. And another pineapple. And another pineapple, there's pineapples everywhere. So this, I have good feelings about this. I think this is gonna be really yummy. So imagination is beautiful right now. We're in it dusk, just absolutely gorgeous with the fountains and the lights on the pyramids over there, just gorgeous. Look where I'm making Michael go. <laughs> We're going to the land at night. I'm a happy nerd and Mike's trying to figure out ways to ditch me right now. Just run. Make a run for it and I'll have to do this ride. On behalf of Nestle and the Walt Disney World Company, I'd like to welcome you to the Circle of Life. An no. environmental fable starring Simba, not... Timon, and Pumbaa. No, from this not... animated feature, The Lion King. <laughs> he may have worked there before, but we're not going there. We're going to living with the land, people. That's my favorite. We're going there. Are exploring innovative ways. I to love this ride at night. Harvests now and it's into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest so diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, uh -huh. cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. With its edible seeds, the, and leaves, is gone. the pumpkin could become an important staple for areas where other crops don't grow easily. She Antioxidants can have a light, sweet taste. taste. The fruit originated in Mexico <laughs> or Central America but it's already becoming Wow, they got rid of everything that was over here the other day. It's all gone, it's all new. By careful selection and cross breeding, sure. we can grow I ate the eggplant earlier. Pesticides. We're growing these new I have to say, Pluto looks a little strange at night. He's adorable, aw, Mickey's got a butterfly on his nose. And Minnie has, oh, it's like the headband. She's got the ladybugs, just like the headband. Now I get it. Guess where we're going? We're finishing the day with my favorite ever. You know I'm happy. Even Michael's happy about this. Or oh, I've turned him into a zombie. I'm not no, quite. I'm hugging, especially. Oh, you're hugging. Okay. I would hug it too if I could. <laughs> I love it so. Yes. We are looking 
Illuminations is happening behind us because we keep hearing the booms of things going off. But we had a very good night. Oh, see, told you. <laughs> we had a very good night going through the flower and garden food and wine festival thing. Uh, had some really yummy food. We'll definitely be back, right? We're definitely coming back. There's a lot more things we need to try. But it was very successful. Michael went on living with the land with me and didn't didn't die. He survived. Look, Monorail. And it was a good night. So that's it for now, but we'll be back again soon. Not sure what I'm doing next, but you know, I'll take you guys along. So see you guys soon. Woo! <laughs>